Hi guys and welcome to another one. We're going to be doing a little bit of Seven Days to Die. We've installed a mod called Warriors UK 810. We're currently on version 4.3, you can see down here. And we're going to go into my Mad World. There are all the settings. Let's get into it. Right, as you can see, it is day 14. It's coming up to 10 o'clock at night and it's nearly time to let loose with the chaos. I'll just give you a quick look at this little base that I've built for the horde. It is going to get absolutely nuts. We've got some electric fences going across here just to slow them down a little bit. I did put these Tesla electric posts down but I didn't realise that you have to have 350 power to power them so them are literally just switched off we have got a little base inside here I've left these as wood because eventually I do want to extend out and around but we'll have to see what the horde brings it's going to get absolutely mad So, let's turn everything on. Got the electric fences going. That is just to slow them down so I can kill them. As you can see, I've got these blocks. These are wedges. And with advanced rotation, you can just plop them down like that. The idea is the zombies will run into them and they'll just push themselves off the sides. Very simple, but very, very effective. If they do not get their jump right, they will not get over that. But quite a few do, and especially like the zombie dogs. There is a lot of spitting zombies in this modded version, and it's pretty bad. Get hit by it, and it really, really hurts. But anyway, we have got some roamers. Like I say, they run into them blocks and they just fall off. Gives me a better chance to hit them. And that's our first loot bag. We will get a lot of lag with this because there's going to be that many zombies that come. The only problem is with this mod, there is loads and loads of different zombies. So it does give me a little bit of a lag when there's loads on screen. I'll try turning the horde knights down a little bit, but it's just not as fun. Get 32 zombies on at once. And <laughs> it's really good. I know it's only day 14, but you get everything thrown at you. As you can see, we've got a zombie. A cop. Demolitions. Demolitions will come as well. Zombie dogs, everything. Everything is thrown at you. And that's a big army bloke there. Just on there. And that's a spider zombie. There. Get in. And an army block. And that scary ass clown. Just using the ammo for the 9mm. Standing on top of each other, get them. I would say you get spectre zombies in this as well, and they spit really bad. All the vultures that come as well, I have had not one that hasn't spit. And we've just gone up a little level. It's very hard. Well, I wouldn't say it's very hard, it's more fun than anything because of all the zombies that come. You need special repair kits as well in this. 
to repair your guns, so the normal repair kits do not work. And we've got a couple here. Double barrel. Here's the doom man kit and we've got a zombie dog coming. Okay, two. Two. And we've got a cop. Six of them. And we've got a cop. Do want to kill the cops because the dude's flowed. Wreck your days. There's one gun. He's exploded. Bit of repairs we'll have to do later. Obviously with the demolitions. Demolitions, I should say, and the cops. I wanna keep keep upgrading to a bare minimum. That's why he's on the coming in. Got him. I don't know what you guys think about the shotguns as well. Is I'm really not a fan of shotguns. And if anybody knows about uh, what is the UK mod that I'm using, you get things like this, which is a high definition blunderbuss. Does a little bit more damage than the normal one. It's very, very useful. It seems to be keeping these at bay. And the spiders just gone flying. I want to get that cock. He's speaking. There he is. Got him. It's XP Central as well. This is. I think I might be going up like five levels, but we'll see. I thought everything seems to be under control at the moment. I don't like them. Oh, you get your radiator as well if you get it for them. Who's done it? I would say they don't make it across, but most of them do fall off the edge. I think we've got a few vultures incoming as well. And it sounds like one of the electric fences is down. I will give you a prop tour of this mini horde base after we've finished. And you can see how many loot pods we get as well. I don't know if that was a zombie cop then. Just fell down there. And why the hell they can get their head through that, I do not know. Yep, it was a zombie. Cop. Lagging again. Burning through the nine armies. I do actually want to use the shotgun ammo. Yeah. I don't really like the shotguns. Like I say, do you guys like the shotguns or? Of course, we all have shotguns, it's alright, but I still find it a little bit too slow. That's why I like the Desert Eagle and the 9mm. I'm more of a fan of the pistols. our first demolisher. Big normal just get up and jumped off the edge. See if we can get that spoiled up. Yeah, what's that in normal gameplay? Don't really use any range weapons 
I'll try to stick to melee to save all my ammo for Horde Knights, obviously, because these are not going to stop until 4 o'clock in the morning, believe me. My first Horde Knights, I had about four demolishers come, as well as pups and spectres and all sorts. I hope I get a few spectres to really show you guys what they're like. But we're, we're calping okay at the moment. Got an army dude. We're not doing too bad at the moment. On my first Thunderbolt night on day 7, everything got wrecked. It was an absolute nightmare because I couldn't upgrade anything above cobblestone. And they just tore through this little base like it was paper and that It was ridiculous. But now we've got a couple of decent weapons. So they do seem to be handling it a lot better. I've got a crawler beyond there, I think. Or is it just loads of dead bodies? Well, that was a total miss. Can't see him. He's just chucked off the side. Yes, one of the fences is out. I think the other fence might be out as well. So we've only got two fences left. Each one. Maybe no, it's gonna be three. Still got three, it's okay. In fact, because we've got them, no monitor over there. See if we can get that crawler that's just there. What's going on with them? Waste the shells. Well, I don't say waste them, let's get them used up. Is this going to blow his head off? Class. Looks like in this, in this modded version, I do love that there's loads of different types of zombies. I have actually seen an armoured dog yesterday and it's like what the hell I'm going to pull it up it would be good if he didn't pop his head through there oh he's stuck get him get him down army bloke massive dog with no head class it never gets old never gets old, blowing the heads off. Occasionally we do get an error message and that's just because enemies are spawning out of reach of me. Or not coming this way I think. But, it's in the old escape, gets us back into the action. Oh, oh man, repair. We need to repair that. Like I say, got to use these bits to repair. And obviously, wait an eternity to let the reload. So I'm going to load down. But they're spitting something. I don't know what's spitting. Plenty of been pushed off the edge. Here we go. That's the spectre. Let's get him. And him. Back up that XP. Come on, heads off. Come on, bring you down. Actually, reach that far. God, the slow reload. Absolutely gorgeous half. Then again, 
the spread is pretty good. Uh, it takes out more than one to at a time. So, we're getting on for our... Getting off past two in the morning. Oh, these guys are still coming. Now, on the normal vanilla, seven days to do, you don't get half as much as what's here. Back to still alive. Got him. Pop some. Still alive. Help him. Got 550 health, health points. Or did. Let's go back to the shop here. But then loads of ammo in the shop here, so. We're pretty good. God knows what the next horse is going to be like. And I'm quite surprised we haven't seen Nathan on the yet. I'd say on my first horde night. Four. And they absolutely flashed the days. But we did it now. Hey, get off his head. Uh oh. Come on, get your head through there. Oh, yeah. Get on. Get loads of loot bags. Absolutely loads. Slips the floor down there. Absolutely tons of it. Let's see. Let's get his head. There we go. Four o'clock in the morning. Not one demonic here. I've been so lucky with this sword. Die. Die. He's just waiting to be killed then. What fools him? Don't worry, buddy. I'll kill you. No worries. Nice double kill then. Oh, what's this? What the hell is that? What the? Whatever it is, it's off the foot of the Get out. Turn your back on me. Uh oh, didn't expect that. Keep on firing. It's another loot bag of the third drop. Didn't expect that. But I think he's dead. Nope. Jeez, uh, let's go. Pop the Just hit the dust. No more regular cop. Change it up to the normal. I'll show sure you my desert eagle as well. Absolutely right, so we can make this. Demolishes. You have to play with all that many bullets in the game. It's all the same as it comes. Mm, it's absolutely crazy. And you can find them out in the world as well. And they do tend to spawn a little more at night. So if you're in your normal crafting base, you have to be a little bit careful. Terrible shot. There we go. Big doggos. Turn this off now and just clear up the remaining ones. That's that weird one again. Oh, 
crawling zombie. Crawling army zombie. For some reason, I don't like them. Oh, they're probably in. They're in. We can go and inspect the damage as well in a little bit. Slow one in there. Finish him off. No, that looks like a screamer. I did actually think that was a screamer. But it's one hit zombie. Like I say, these Tesla ones are not working, they're just going through their animations. Yeah. Same as always, killing corridor. I've used these because, like I say, on the walkway above, when they go into wreck everything mode, they're usually running alongside a wall if I was to do this as normal. But I found with these that they don't attack them so much. And if they're like trying to run across like like that, that they just go through them because of the gap in between. And it they, they don't really tend to bang on these so much as if it was a wall. Now if I'd put a wall all the way across here, down to, down to there, I'm quite sure that there would be a big hole in the middle of the wall here where they where they're actually attacking it. But like I say, with these, there's hardly any damage. There will be a bit of damage around here, obviously, because of that cop that exploded. But yeah, how good does that work? It's, it's only going to be a little bit of repairs to that one. Well, all of, all of these will have a little bit of damage, but as you can see with the rest... There isn't that much. Oh, God knows how heavy that got up there. And we'll loot all these bags. Let's see what we get. what my little board base is like obviously the spikes on top of there just in case the vultures come and start trying to attack the top there those bars were already out i don't know whether to take out the other ones to be fair because if they're going to jump on top then i'm just going to hit the spikes anyway so yeah thanks for tuning in guys and thanks for all the support and i will see you guys in the next one take care everybody Thank you.